In this video, you will learn how to use the Occlusion Setup Tool. The Occlusion Setup Tool and its high-precision interface plates allow you to set up the upper and lower models prior to scanning and skip the byte scan. As a result, the scans will be automatically aligned in the correct occlusion in the software. This device should be used in orders with an antagonist where the models are not fixed in an articulator. The occlusion setup tool is always supplied with four interface plates and one calibration interface plate, which need to be calibrated in the scanner. Only interface plates supplied with the occlusion setup tool can be used with it. None of the other interface plates will fit that tool. The occlusion setup tool can be used with all dental scanners working with Scan Suite and is supported by Dental System 2.9.9.2 or newer versions. Before use, the occlusion setup tool and its interface plates need to be calibrated. To do that, open Scan Suite by clicking on the Scan Suite icon in the system tray. Select Tools to open the Manage Interface Plates dialog window. Then click Calibrate. A new pop-out window will show you how to place the plates in the scanner. If you are using a large interior scanner, the plates need to be situated on the scan height adapter. The plates are always calibrated one at a time, even if you are using the D2000 scanner, since there is only one calibration plate in the set. When using the D2000, first set the calibration plate on the left side and click Continue. When calibration has finished, move it to the right side according to the dialog window. And click Continue again. Once calibration has finished, take the interface plate out of the scanner and click Done. In the Manage Interface Plates window, a new calibration date will be visible. Calibration must be done once, but we recommend recalibration if the scanner has been moved. Now you can close the dialog windows. When the Occlusion Setup Tool interface plates have been calibrated, you can start scanning models. Start with setting the lower model on the interface plate. Then insert the plates in the Occlusion Setup tool between the three alignment points. The flattened edge should be facing outwards. Lock the plates using the locking mechanism. Now position the upper model on the lower in the correct occlusion and close down the Occlusion Setup tool. and now the occlusion has been set. Once the correct occlusion has been set, open the locking mechanism and remove the models along with the interface plates from the occlusion setup tool. Then insert the plates along with the models into the scanner. The upper model should be inserted on the right and lower model on the left. Now you can open a new order form and create the requested order and click Scan. The Scanit Dental software will open. In the Interface Plate drop-down menu, choose Occlusion Setup Tool and click Next to start the scanning process. The scanner will first scan the upper model. On the initial scan, set the annotation and select the scan area. Then select the scan area for the lower model and click Next. The die will be scanned at the same time if the Scan Die In Arch option is enabled. Then the lower model will be scanned. When scanning has finished, the software automatically aligns byte thanks to the earlier calibration of interface plates. At that stage, you can also check on individual scans just by switching between them.
Now you can start design restorations using Dental Designer. Use of the dynamic virtual articulator allows you to design restorations taking into account not only the static, but the dynamic occlusion too. Thank you for watching.